Now today I'm going to make some mashed potato, a little bit different to what I normally do because what I'm going to be adding this time is some celeriac rather than just potatoes. Now celeriac's a sort of root vegetable, it's got a slight flavour of celery, a little bit of nuttiness. Now what I'm going to do is to fry off the celeriac in some olive oil, fresh thyme, garlic, get some good flavours in there. Then what we do is add the rest of the potatoes, pour some water in, just boil them up as you would normally, and then we're going to add some butter, we've got some nutmeg, salt and pepper seasoning, and it just comes together and makes a really delicious mashed potato. So give it a go. So for making this mashed potato, I'm just going to go through the ingredients I'm going to use. Now I've got my potatoes there, probably got about one kilogram of potatoes. These are Maris Piper, the ones I'd normally tend to use for my mashed potato. That's the root vegetable, celeriac. Now what you want to do is chop the top and the bottom off, you know, and then just peel it. You might be able to use a sort of potato peeler, otherwise carefully with a sharp knife. So peel it all, and then what you want to do is chop it down into little chunky pieces, probably about half inch, 12 millimetres roughly, you know, little cubes, about the same sort of size. I've got thyme, fresh thyme. Now with the thyme, just strip the leaves off. If you go against the grain, you get all the leaves off. Couple of cloves of garlic, which I'll peel those, chop them down reasonably fine. And then we've got a little bit of olive oil, gonna use some butter, and I've got fresh nutmeg. So I'm just gonna grate a little bit of the nutmeg in there. It just gives it a wonderful flavor. And then a bit of salt and pepper seasoning. So there's all the ingredients. Now what I'm gonna do is go and get it all peeled, all chopped up, get on with the cooking. So we're gonna get on with the cooking then. Now I'm gonna start with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Yeah, you want a reasonable glug. Now I'm just gonna switch the heat on. Right, that's just warmed up nicely, so let's pop those in there. So I'm just going to pop all that in the pan and then give it a mix around. Just try and get it all coated in the oil. That's it. I'll also add in the thyme. Now, I've already stripped the thyme down. But, you know, just generally go against, hold it, and then just strip them off like so. So do that with all of them. And I'm going to put in the garlic as well. Again, give that all a quick move around. A little bit of seasoning. Now, as an alternative to thyme, you could use a little bit of rosemary if you like, it's up to you, and obviously you can add a little bit more to your taste, but a good pinch of ground black pepper, and salt. And what you want to do is just keep moving this around, just try and get a little bit of colour where you can. And say, so if you find the heat's not high enough, always turn it up a little bit. If it's too hot, turn it down. But just keep moving it around, I'd say for about four minutes, maybe five minutes and then we can put the water in. Now I've been frying those off for about five minutes and it's just starting to pick up a bit of colour so I think we can put in the water. Now what I will do is I've got all my other potatoes there so let's put them in at the same time. Grab the water, it was boiled. You just want to put enough to cover it, really. I do. Now I'm going to put a lid on that. So now we've got a lid on there, leave that cooking away, I would say around about 15 to 20 minutes. What you want to do is have it sort of just gently boiling, come and check it after, say, 15 minutes, stick a knife in the potatoes, and if it slips off, it's done. So I'll see you in about 15, maybe 20 minutes, when they're done. Now I've had mine gently boiling for about 20 minutes. Now let's just try this. If you stick a knife in it should just fall off nicely. Look at that. That's coming off. Let's just try the celeriac. Let me try one of those, see what the, how soft it is. Hmm. Oh that's good. That's just right for mashing. With that potato it's going to be delicious. Now 
Obviously, you know, cook yours just to make sure that it's all nice and soft, just like you'd have when you have mashed potato. Now, I'm going to turn mine off the heat, and I'm going to go and drain it off. Now, I've just drained all the water away, so I'm going to take that over to the table, leave the lid off, and just leave it for a few minutes or so to let some of the steam go. And then what we can do is add a bit of butter and, you know, put the nutmeg and the salt and pepper on there. So, take it over the table, leave the lid off, just for a few minutes or so. So I've had that for a few minutes with the lid off. Now, I'm just initially gonna break it down a little bit, some of the big potatoes, and then we can put the butter in there. And some people like to put cream, or you can add a bit of milk, you know, however you like it, really. Right, let's broken that up a little bit. Now, let's get some butter. And again, things like butter, you can put in as little or as much as you like. I mean, obviously, don't go overboard. It gives it a nice flavour. It is tempting to put quite a lot in, but anyway, let's just quickly mix that around. Now I'm going to use me sort of potato masher and I'm just going to squash that down. Try and get the lumps out. Now I might just add a little bit of milk. Yeah, let's just give that a quick mix. Should make it just a little bit creamier. That's good. A tiny little bit more milk. Now I think what we can do next is just check it for seasoning. So let's get something to try that. Just get a little bit. Mmm, mm, really nice. You get that celeriac flavour, a little bit at a time. Now I'm going to season it up with some salt, just a sort of fine salt. You do need to season it a little bit, a little pinch. Now, let's move that around. Put a little bit of black pepper or white pepper if you want, or no pepper. Nutmeg. Nutmeg really is a lovely one on mash. A good pinch of that. Now again, let's just mix that up and give it one more taste. Let's get a bit there. Mm. Really nice. I'm just going to go for that final, because I'm only putting tiny amounts in of salt. I think it just go really well with that celeriac. And there you go, the mashed potato is all done and uh, ready to serve up. Now I'm just going to serve up some of that mash, I'm going to put it on a plate. I know we've already tried it and seasoned it and everything's all good. Uh, there you go. Now I am actually going to serve it up with a couple of other bits that I've got going in the background there. Got a little bit of broccoli and also I made this really nice dish, which is like venison sausages in a red wine sauce. Oh, that is absolutely tasty, and I thought it'd go really nice with this mash. So let's go and serve some of that up. Now, I'm just gonna try a bit of that mash first, because remember, this is what I made, the mash, even though the other bit looks good. Just try that. Really nice. Just Slightly different flavour to your normal mash. You know, it makes a little bit of a change. Just make sure you get it nicely seasoned and you know, you've got something delicious. Thanks for watching my videos. I'll see you again soon. The Original Naked Chef.